Hi, my name is Brian Collin, and this video is on Sigmund Freud. We will be doing a separate follow-up video on Freud's theory of psychosexual development. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests, and if you can't find good practice tests, create your own using the free Learn My Test study tool, or search our growing list of test banks for one in your field of study. It's absolutely free at LearnMyTest.com. Freud created the discipline psychoanalysis, which studies the unconscious mind. Freud used a technique in psychotherapy called free association, where the client says things that come into their mind without a conscious filter. The goal is of free association is to get at the unconscious processes. Freud also used a technique called dream analysis where the clients would report their dreams and the content was believed to represent the client's true desires and fears. The id or the pleasure principle is your natural impulses, such as using the bathroom, sex, eating, and thirst. The superego or the moral principle is to do what society says is right or what you believe is morally right given the situation. The ego is the reality principle and compromises between the id and the superego to ultimately determine what you do. So sometimes you follow the id more and sometimes you follow the superego more and sometimes you do a compromise. Some people have a pattern of following their id more than their superego, so they may be more likely to express their impulses, whereas others are more likely to control their impulses and follow their superego more than their id. This is Teresa. She has been dieting for several months and lost about 50 pounds. She hasn't worked out in a few days and is having a craving for some unhealthy food. She is wondering what she should do tonight. According to Freud, Teresa's superego, or the angel on her shoulder, would tell her to do an hour on the treadmill and then eat something healthy. Teresa's id, on the other hand, or her devil on her shoulder, would tell her to just go ahead and eat a bunch of unhealthy food and not work out. Teresa's ego will try to find a compromise between the id and the superego. So for example, Teresa may compromise by instead of doing a 60 minute workout, like the superego suggests, maybe to do a 30 minute run on the treadmill instead, and instead of just eating a salad, maybe to eat a sandwich and a salad. That would be a good compromise. Freud came up with the idea of defense mechanisms, which is when the reality principle or the ego is distorted in order to protect itself from anxiety or negative feelings from id impulses. Defense mechanisms can be positive or negative ways to deal with negative feelings. This is Marcus and this is Sally. They are both in middle school and have a big dance coming up. Sally has a crush on Marcus but is worried that if she told anyone it would get out and Marcus would reject her. If Sally were to use the defense mechanism denial, she would deny or not believe her true feelings or id impulses of having a crush on Marcus to avoid the anxiety of putting herself out there and being rejected. If Sally were to use the defense mechanism reaction formation, she would say the exact opposite of how she feels or what her id impulses are to avoid the anxiety of possibly getting rejected. So in this case, Sally would act like she does not like Marcus or thinks that he is gross to avoid the anxiety of being rejected by him. Another strategy to protect negative feelings from the ego or defense mechanism is projection. Projection is taking your true feelings and projecting them or saying that is how someone else feels. For example, if Sally tells Marcus that her friend Ethel has a crush on him, she would be projecting attraction toward Marcus on her friend Ethel. Another defense mechanism is displacement, where you take your feelings towards someone and displace them towards someone or something else. So let's take Sally, who gets asked out to the dance by Steve. Sally does not have to worry about getting rejected by Steve 
because he asked her out. However, she acts like she has a crush on Steve, even though in reality she thinks he's gross and really still has a crush on Marcus. Let's just say, since Sally did not express her true feelings to Marcus, who may or may not have reciprocated, Marcus decides to ask Stacy to the dance, and she says yes. So let's just say that Sally becomes angry that Stacy is going to the dance with Marcus and not her. So she ends up cursing at her teacher and then getting into trouble. Acting aggressive instead of expressing your true feelings is a defense mechanism called acting out. Let's say that Sally decides to go to her teacher, Mr. Johnson, after class and provides a genuine apology for acting out. She explains to her teacher that she was upset because the boy she liked is going out with someone else. This would be a mature or adaptive defense mechanism called humility. Sally admitted that what she had done was wrong and apologized to her teacher. Even though, her, even though the teacher, Mr. Johnson, was initially upset with Sally, he accepted her apology and used a defense mechanism called forgiveness, which is also a mature defense mechanism. Sally is eventually able to tap into another defense mechanism, a mature defense mechanism called acceptance. She is upset about not going to the dance with Marcus and she feels stuck with Steve, but decides that rather than expressing anger, which is inappropriate, she is going to accept the situation and try to have a fun time at the dance with Steve. Identifying a client's defense mechanisms and getting them to express their true feelings is one of the goals of Freudian psychoanalysis. Another popular defense mechanism is repression, or being unable to recall memories of traumatic events such as sexual assaults witness or witnessing a death of a friend or loved one because they're too emotional or painful. Dissociation is feeling separated from one's own body or identity because certain identities trigger painful thoughts or memories. Regression is going back to a previous stage of development to avoid painful thoughts or feelings, such as maybe an adult acting like a child. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on our most recent videos. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests. If you can't find good practice tests, build your own for free using the Learn My Test study tool at learnmytest.com or search our growing list of test banks for one in your field of study. Thank you so much for watching this video.